there's a lot more to think when you come out of junior. There's a lot more to learn than, than just uh, playing your best every night. It's, it's a whole different ball game up here. Away from the ice, I'm a pretty mellow guy. I mean, uh, I like a lot of music, I uh, play video games, and I mean, uh, I like to cook. Favorite band, probably Led Zeppelin. Favorite movie, uh, I like the Boondock Saints. Who was your favorite goaltender? Who did you like to watch? And is there anyone now who really compels you in the National Hockey League? Um, I really like Luongo. When he played in the World Juniors in Halifax, I mean, uh, he was unbelievable. And uh, I, I got his, I got his Team Canada jersey for a birthday present that year. What about your helmet? What's going on there? So on the back, uh, I've had a couple uh, close friends um, pass away and former teammates. So the MF7 is uh, uh, Mike Foglin. He's um, he's uh, one of the players with, that played with me in Prince George my rookie year and. He passed away that summer of a heart attack, and uh, I've, I've wore that on the back of my helmet ever since. And then uh, over here, I have uh, LB6. It's um, Luke Bordon. I was, I was driving home and from uh, Toronto. I was in, in Saskatchewan, and I, I got the call from uh, James Duff, and he, he didn't know if I've heard yet. So uh, it was, it was uh, a tough time, and you know, I, I uh, just, just like to honor them on my helmets. Just in 2006, such a huge year for you. It's DHL Goaltender of the Year. You get the MVP and gold medal at the World Junior Hockey Championship. What did that year do for your confidence? Uh, I think things were just going really well that, that year. I mean, um, we had a we had a great team, great defensive team, and um, things were just working. And I, I got told at the beginning of the year when I didn't make uh, the Summer World Junior Camp that uh, just be the best goalie and make him have to take you. Did that year, that 2006 gold medal and the MVP, did that put extra pressure on you to make it at the NHL level? Uh, I don't know if it put extra pressure on me, but uh, I mean, it, it, it's been a weird thing. I mean, I think it, it was a great experience, but it, uh, it's, been, it's been a long time now and you know, you, you can't keep looking back and relying on that because you, you got to prove yourself in the present. Tell me about this arrangement you have with the Leafs, this spot starting. We've seen you in a few starts so far in the NHL. And what's your NHL experience been like to date? Wills called me one day and uh, told me that there was a rotation set up and, you know, just, just be ready. And uh, I, I'm uh, really close contacts with uh, Corey Hirsch, the goalie coach, and, you know, he kind of lets me know. But, uh, you know, you don't want to get caught up in wondering when you're going to be up. Uh, uh, my first game. Things went really, really well, and uh, it was good. But then my second game, you know, it kind of a blessing in disguise. It, you're not Superman, and you know, things things can happen, and you don't play your best. Justin, I gotta ask you this. Tell me what it's like to be a sex symbol in the city of Toronto. Ah, uh, I never heard that one before, but I mean, it's flattering, I guess. <laughs>